We're kicking this episode off with Chef Randy and Chef Dev in the kitchen where we're going to do some last minute cooking for the holidays. All right. Chef Randy, what are we making? Oh, Tracy, we are kicking it off with everybody's favorite holiday drink. It is homemade nog. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So delicious. You can give it away as a present. That's nice. But you're probably going to keep it yourself. Because it's that good. It's that darn good. You're going to want it all to yourself. And you're not alone in the kitchen. We've got Chef Dev here because he Chef is going to take Dev. some of that nog and do something else with it. So I'm not even going to tell them what it is I yet. I love eggnog. Yeah, tell them how much you love eggnog before we get started. As a child, I would stand outside the fridge and like chug it by the carton. This is body by eggnog. Body by that eggnog. That right there, that is a dairy commercial right there. Look he at this loves guy. This is eggnog. Okay. So if we wanted to make this at home and yes. not maybe buy it in the carton at the grocery store, what yes. are we doing? Okay, so number one, we have to understand what is nog. What is nog? Nog is a drink that is made <laughs> by whisking eggs. I okay. googled it. Oh, good <laughs> I googled for you. it. Yes, and it is uh, usually alcoholic, so we are definitely going to do that. And we need okay. the entire egg. So we've got <laughs> six egg whites and six egg yolks. And Dev is going to whisk up the whites to a stiff. I am peak. Yes, oh, you are. Okay. Very Put aggressively, right? I've got the egg yolks here, and they both have one third of a cup of maple sugar. Okay. Okay, that's going to help kind of aerate them as well. Now you can use white sugar. You could use maple syrup. You okay. could use anything you want. This is just kind of dehydrated maple syrup, so it has extra flavor. Nice. Then we have a cup and a half of whole milk. Yep. And a cup and a half of 35% cream. Okay, that's a lot of milk. Milky, little, creamy. This is the holiday season, it's and not. it's getting cold outside. You got to bulk up a little bit, right, that's Dad? Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go aggressive with the cinnamon because it can really take it because it has all that fat inside of there. Beautiful. And we also have to do, you know, the nutmeg. That is a yeah. course. And Did you, you get me a smaller bowl, by the way? I listen. That was the biggest <laughs> bowl with you. <laughs> It'll work faster. You'll get there faster with a smaller bowl. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost there. What do you got there? Vanilla. Yeah. And I mm. want you to go extra hard. I want your grandma to jump out of her chair and be like, that's too much. Yes. Double the vanilla in every recipe. Double, always. triple. Double the garlic, not in this recipe, but double the vanilla, <laughs> double, double the, the garlic. Vanilla. Yeah, okay. always. All right. And so then we bring our mixture up to 185. Debbie, you almost there? So it's very <gasps> specific. Why do you need I, it I need to be? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, biceps. Why do you need it to be 185? Because that's kind of the temperature we want to, to uh, temper these eggs. So we're just going to put a little bit in with the egg yolks. And so what this does is just a little bit of time. He's doing two hands. This Look is at amazing. This. Look at this. I guess we can do something, and but why? why You've got it, it under control. This way, you don't scramble the egg yolks. So now that we've kind of tempered them and they're oh. in, now they can go back in. Whoa. So we're not trying to do scrambled eggs. So we're non. definitely not making scrambled eggs. Here, non. give me that. Can yeah. We'll take that? I should do something. That is called tempering. A classic culinary technique. Tempering. And now everybody's tempered and feeling good inside of there. The cinnamon's hitting hard. Dev? I'm not going to the gym today. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of work. Is that's it a, is lot it a of work. stiff or is I should have set a beat. workout on my watch right now. <laughs> I think you're there. You... It's getting there. Medium. Ooh. Can you put it over my head? No. You can't? No, I'll we'll have to reshoot this idea. I don't think you got to try. You don't to do that. That's a classic tip, a uh, trick, actually. We would hold it over our head. This is show what that you all it... are doing in the kitchen while we're yeah. waiting for our meal. But this, no, not <laughs> yet, man. Let me see. Not yet. Let me see. I'll put it over your head. Let me see. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, it's not right. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was nervous. <laughs> That's good. Nice. Thanks, good. bro. Very well done. Now, Dev. what we're going to do is just let that melt inside. We're going to kill the heat. So everyone that's afraid of, like, uncooked egg whites, it's not true. There's a little bit of heat in there, and that's going to cook them down. Okay. Then what we're going to do is add the alcohol because Oof. it is an alcoholic drink. Yeah. And everybody thinks it's eggnog and rum, and it is definitely not. We are using Canadian whiskey, and we want to use... Tell me why you go with whiskey oh. versus oh. rum. Because I feel like it's a bit like rum is too sweet and we're putting yeah. sugar in anyways. And so therefore, we don't want to put any more sugar. Fair. So the rye is going to give it a bit more of a kick. Oh, and you're pouring us drinks. That's you know, nice. I'm pouring you a drink, you know. And then what we need to do is refrigerate this for an hour and a half minimum. And what okay. you get is light, frothy, airy, oh, and creamy. Give it a little shake. Very but nice. check this out. See, I would chug it from that vessel. You, you, you can do that. That's what you would do, take it One, out of the fridge I and look have it, that look in. Look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Tracy. So, 
<laughs> is the reason why you put a little whiskey in the glass because like the kids can have like maybe the non-whiskey version and sure. then you can put the whiskey version in your own you glass? You can. Okay. Or I just thought you liked whiskey. Beautiful. I'll take it. And I definitely want to be using that in my recipe. That's oh. good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not an egg potter. It's good. Okay, Chef Deb. Yes, you're going to take this, you're going to level up because you're going to use that eggnog to make what? Easy recipe for the holidays. Yeah. If you don't have a lot of time and you have this some really stale good. bread, we're mm. going to do a quick eggnog bread pudding. Mm. So to get started on that, mm -hmm. we are going to, I'm whisking again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God. You can make him do some work too. Uh, Chef Randy, yes, actually going to make our caramel. Mm -hmm. So while we're doing this, I'm going to get some brown sugar in here. We have our eggs. Of course, you want to beat the eggs first. I yeah. put a pinch of salt in everything. Fun spices that are going in, cardamom. We have cinnamon, yes. nutmeg, and allspice, very warm spices, things that I love. And I love this smell. If this was a body spray, I would wear this, right? <laughs> mm. and I, I, I think, we're something. We'll I, think I do. So yeah. we want to whisk this all together, break yeah. up that brown sugar. Mm -hmm. While this is happening, we have a caramel going. And when we add our caramel, thank you so much. No problem. Take you home and perfectly you timed in my bath. <laughs> so we're making a caramel. We're not shaking it around too much, but Chef Randy's going to help me by adding in some cream, some vanilla, and some butter. Do you the start with the butter? I typically go butter. Yes. And then I drop the temperature down as well. Can you hand me your oh. fancy spatula over there, mate? The Very sprinkles. Nice. The sprinkles. So because we're nice and caramelized, we go in with the butter, mm -hmm. and you're starting to see some foam that's going to bring the temperature down right away kind of stop the cooking process. And we've taken the heat off right now, but you might want to turn it on just a little bit low. Yeah, give you a little action here. Ideally, want to use a whisk at this point, but Chef Randy is a professional. No, it's going to make it happen. He's so he's going to make it happen. Okay. So into here, we have our spices, we have our eggs, we have some milk going in, but the secret ingredient is the... Eggnog! Yeah. Yeah. Secret nice. ingredient yeah. in the building. Oh, so this is going to go in here. And then what we do is we have some day-old bread. Uh, yeah. Chef, you could slice some, but I also have a ton already. But if you want to slice, slice up some you. bread for I me, that'd be great. Hand. Watch this. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Okay, I'm going to let him slice it, and then I'll show uh, I'll show them what it looks like, just because yeah. this is what you're going for. Now, I, like, if bread lasts a day in our house, we're lucky because we are bread monsters. But this is such a good thing to do with bread. What kind of bread is this? This is brioche that we're using oh, right now. Brioche. And it's delicious. That's so and you good. want a nice big Someone started Nice clapping. big, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. This is brioche. That's beautiful. Caramel's coming together. We're going to come in with some heavy cream. Nice. Uh, this is something that might be a little bit tricky to time if you're being filmed while you do it. But, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. But and you're then, a pro. And then, of He's course, we're going to add it. in... Some vanilla. Vanilla. A, lot of vanilla. a lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. And now nice. this is all going to come together. This is together. actually coming together. So what I'm going to do is put this out in f right over here okay. and just pour the mixture over so you can take a look. So he actually uh, greased the pan there that the bread pudding is oh, in Tracy just so that you can, yeah, you can get it out afterwards With when it's done. With unsalted butter. This is so yes. simple. Ooh. So get the kids to do this. <laughs> it's going to be ooey gooey good. It's going to be insane. And you can't really mess this up, right, Chef Randy? Well. No, we didn't do it. <laughs> you nailed this. No, That's... I'm talking about the bread pudding. Oh, I thought you meant the caramel sauce. <laughs> Freaking out over here. Yeah, no, the bread pudding. This is exactly we're... the perfect thing to do with your leftover bread. Before leftover. the segment, we're like working out the timing. Like, when does the show start? <laughs> I need eight minutes for the caramel. You have uh, 30 seconds. How are you feeling? We're going to make it happen. This okay. is what we do. We're professionals. Right. So that's there. Yeah. We have a finished one already in the oven. I'm going to pull that out and show everybody what it looks like. I cannot wait. And look how to gorgeous this. this is. It's stunning. Very, very hot. And then we already have our finished caramel over here. Yes. And then we have our salted oh caramel. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. We need to get a beautiful shot of that, so I'm going to restrain myself from trying it until we can get that beautiful after Ooh, shot. Oh These man. chefs. Thank Gorgeous. you, Randy. Thank you, Deb. They're going to be back again with some more cooking. They're a dynamic duo. Let's go to break. We have more coming up.